Nityanandam. My name is Manitya Dhyanatmananda Swami, and I'm a disciple of His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda Swami. And I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video today. Um, in this video, I'm going to share about the science of completion, which is a process that Swamiji has introduced, rooted in the Hindu scriptures, and he's put it into a format which you and I can apply very easily. Now, the purpose of the, the completion process is to help us root out and go beyond our incompletions that we've accumulated over time. And it's not that we've just accumulated these incompletion or patterns. They end up ruling how we live, what we decide, who we engage with, what kind of jobs we take, everything. And we tend to see ourselves in the same situations over and over again, the same types of people, the same types of failures. Getting into ruts are not achieving exactly what we want, maybe close, but not everything. So these are all connected to our patterns and um, incompletions in life. So there's a very beautiful process that Swamiji has, been, um, has introduced and gives us so much inspiration to use that process. Now, of course, he also says you can directly complete right now. Just your pure declaration or that pure oneness experience can bring you to completion. If that's happened and is happening, great. But if you've not experienced that fully or you've only experienced it, you know, for some parts of your life, then there's no reason to not try the completion process. It really, really works. Let me tell you, I have so many examples of how just me sitting and doing the completion process really works. And it's something you get better at because you start to understand yourself and you start to let, have less resistance to the process. Obviously, many of us may not want to look at our past or look at things or incidents that may be disturbing or they make us feel uncomfortable. But it's, the process itself is so beautiful and so encouraging, and Swamiji is literally there with you, that even this is something so easily um, to be overcome. Now, I wanted to share an experience how the completion process helped me. Um, in 2013, I, during one of the Akashic readings, and I can talk about that in a different topic, um, Kala Bhairava had said for me to shave my head and do panchatapas. For 21 days. So I was ready to do it. I said tapas and to have that directly come from Kala Bhairava was such a blessing. So when I came to the Adhinam, Adhinam to spend some time for Guru Purnima and to take uh, Purna Sanyas initiation, this was also one of the things I was planning to do, to do the pancha tapas. So first things first, I needed to shave my head. Now at the time, this seems like a simple thing. Um, but at the time, finding a barber, a female barber, because only male barbers would shave the males and the female barbers would shave the females. But in the town of Bidadi, which is right outside the Adina, there was no female barber who was ready to do this. And it was so I couldn't find someone. It was just the whole thing was dragging. Um, and I didn't like the delay, but at the same time, I wasn't getting a solution. Then... Swamiji was giving darshan uh, for the inner awakening participants. And uh, darshan is when basically you have a view of the divine and that, that, that view is like a communion in that moment um, where basically you fall into the space of Swamiji's space and your consciousness is raised. And you can go one by one and ask questions or you know, just sit and be in such a blissful space. And this happens in all of the inner awakening programs. It's like the, the climax of the day for the participants. So this was happening. And I was sitting, um, assisting with the darshan, and I was sitting on the side. You know, the participants are coming and going in Swamiji's blessing. And then he just turns to me. And keep in mind, I did not go share to Swamiji, oh, I can't find someone, or complain, or say, ask for any kind of assistance in the matter. He just looked at me and said, you need to complete with you need to complete and then you'll find someone. That's why he said you haven't completed, that's why you haven't found someone. 
I was like, okay, because it's a direct instruction from Swamiji. He's looking me straight in the eyes and telling me this. And so I thought, okay, let me do this right away. So as soon as the darshan was over, I went and sat in the tech pit in front of the stage and I grabbed my mirror, which a mirror, looking in a mirror is part of the completion process. And I looked in and I followed the process. And what I found was the pattern that I was getting stuck with was I was having resistance to shaving my head because I had this perception that I would look, I don't know if the word was ugly or different. I felt it was more different. And I didn't like the feeling that I would be different because no one else in the Adinam had, no females had shaved head at the time. Maybe one person at the most, but it wasn't, it's not a common look in our own Adinam and definitely outside society, very few females um, have their head shaved. So for me, I always was used to like blending in and being one with the crowd and you know whatever group I was with, I was I would flow with that group. But somehow shaving my head would make me different, and that made me uncomfortable. So I sat and I completed with that, and a, a lot of other incompletions came up. You know about you know how one looks, self doubt, everything that a typical um, youth from the U.S. would have. I was facing during that completion process, and a lot of things came out. Then. So that was through the night. I think I stayed up for a few hours and I uh, did the full process and it was over, fine. Then the next day I was um, sitting at my computer in the Adinam and we have a welcome center area. And I was pinging Ma Nitya Yogananda Swami. She's another, another Swami um, in the ashram. And I was just, you know, pinging her something and she said something about growing up in Venezuela came up and she mentioned about um, doing hair of like some family members or something. Oh, I said, oh, would you be able to, um, would you be able to shave my head? And she was like, yes, like there was no hesitation. And then I, you know, I got blessings from a yoga Swami to shave my, um, shave my head, head. And Swamiji said, do it in front of Kala Bhairava. So my yoga Swami, Ma Tejamaya Swami. Ma Tejamaya was the assistant. She brought the bucket of water. Um, my yoga Swami had the razor. And we went in front of the Kalabhairava uh, statue in the Vididi Adinam. And sh she shaved my head. And it just, the rest is history. Because after that, you know, the experience of having a um, shaved head was nothing like I thought it would be. But what was so beautiful is the minute I completed, and Swamiji gave me that support to complete. As soon as, when he saw I was stuck, he gave me that push and guided me. As soon as I completed, the solution came. So it had nothing to do with the logical situation of, oh, there's not a, um, there's not a female barber and there's no one to do it. Actually, the solution was right under my nose. It was one of my sister disciples that did it. So there was nothing, the solution was just so special and the, I just directly saw, when you do the completion, the solutions happen. So completion is a process that leads to results. It's not something intellectual. It's not something like a, for a feel-good moment. It actually really, really leads to results. And if it's not leading to results, you're not done the process completely. So I just hope by sharing this, you get a little bit of inspiration to try the process or if you've tried it before and you felt like, you know, nothing has happened, to try it again. Because it does take some practice. Sometimes you may not quite do the steps fully or you just get tired, you know, to look in because we don't give, usually give ourselves this much attention and um, spend time looking in for, um, with such like on a micromanagement level. So I hope you will sincerely try Swamiji's completion process. I hope whatever it is, you may be going through or you feel there's a place you're stuck, um, you will apply this tool anytime and, and know that it's basically Swamiji supporting you and showing you the way to get out of any situation that you're in. Um, completion isn't 
limited to any type of problem. Basically, it's anything, any time, or any situation, or any moment you feel off or uncomfortable, or some flash of emotion happens inside, or some instability, some confusion, some fear, some anger, any of these things, when you're not balanced, if you're not blissful, there's an incompletion happening. So if the criteria is so, the scope is so broad, that means there's a lot of lot to complete with. Yes, there is, but there's a way to do it. And when you do it, you'll see that so much expands inside of you and so much opens up in life for you. So if you have any, <clears throat> excuse me, questions about the process, please um, do share. And I will share the specific links for the process so that you can learn how to do it the correct way. And um, I wish you the best of luck and thank you so much. Nityanandam.